For more than a hundred years, this beautiful district, which is within 20 miles of Melbourne, has been known as Dandenong. The first white settlers to arrive here followed hard on Major Mitchell, who blazed a trail from Sydney to Gippsland. Settlers came to from Tasmania. The rich soil was soon producing fine cattle and dairy produce for the new settlement of Melbourne. Dandenong was the name of the Aboriginal tribe which lived in the district, and the name of its musical ring has been used ever since. Today, Dandenong is an important dairy and agricultural district, with two million customers on its doorstep. Some of the finest farms in the Commonwealth are to be found here, and the visitor to Dandenong cannot fail to be impressed by the quality of the district's livestock, which has won so many honours at the Royal Melbourne Agricultural Society's annual shows. Recently, Victoria's Premier opened Dandenong's new cattle sale yard. As the gateway to Gippsland and the Latrobe Valley, the town now occupies an important position in Victoria's cattle industry. Dandenong's town hall has witnessed many changes since the district was proclaimed a shire in 1873. But it's seen its greatest changes since 1950. Since that year, Dandenong has become the fastest growing town in the Commonwealth. The population of the district is increasing at the rate of 3,000 every year. It has now reached 28,000. By 1970, it's expected to reach 85,000. Once the town came to life only on market day, today, Every day is shopping day at Dandenong. Branches of all the big trading banks have established themselves in Dandenong. Some in fine new premises, and the trade in the town is booming. One of the town's three newspapers, the Dandenong Advertiser, is one of the oldest newspapers in the Commonwealth. What has been responsible for the expansion of this town to a stage where it can support three newspapers? The tower pylons carrying electricity from your lawn march through Dandenong on their way to Melbourne. The railroad to Gippsland and the Latrobe Valley passes through Dandenong. And so also does the Prince's Highway, which passes through the centre of the town and which links Melbourne with the eastern half of Victoria. These great industrial plants have been built here because conditions at Dandenong add up to the ideal situation for private enterprise to establish itself and to provide jobs Dandenong is today producing heavy trucks, trucks that are as efficient and as reliable as any imported vehicle, a fine tribute to Australian engineering skills. Dandenong is also producing thousands of high-grade motor cars for our own market and for export to our overseas neighbours. Dandenong bids to become Victoria's most important satellite city. A city which is benefiting from the Victorian state government's belief that more industry means more prosperity in the state. More money paid out in wages, more production, and as a result of all this, a better standard of living for every Australian. You have seen but a small part of the industrial activity at Dandenong, where cheap power and transport, adequate water and wise planning, has resulted in these great wealth-producing industries establishing themselves here. As part of a great decentralization program, many more industries are coming to Dandenong, and that is why the population will have reached at least 85,000 by 1970. But what of the people of Dandenong? How do they live? Some live in these neat homes built by the Victorian Housing Commission. Others have built modern homes to their own designs, and thousands of new jobs in a hundred new industries 
have provided the chance for the security that will result in thousands more Australians settling here. Dandenong's high production rate does not apply only to its industrial activity. The great increase in the wealth of the district has helped the Shire of Dandenong to provide its citizens with excellent social services and public amenities which are helping to make the town an ideal one in which to live and in which to raise a family. Yes, the Dandenong story is a big success story and one that many Australians would like to see repeated in their own country districts throughout the Commonwealth. Decentralisation is giving these children better opportunities to live happy, healthy lives, away from overcrowded Melbourne with its traffic snarls and transport problems. At Dandenong, the town meets the country, and although the annual agricultural show is not as big as Melbourne's show, for Dandenong youngsters it's just as exciting. Dandenong's Agricultural Society was formed in 1871, the first show was held just 87 years ago with 301 entries. The prize money distributed was 100 pounds. More than 3,500 entries are now received for each show and the prize money has increased proportionately as have attendances. Cranbourne Racetrack is within easy reach of the town and the sport is very popular in the district. For the girls, hockey and basketball. Tennis for those who like the game. Golf courses that match anything else in Australia. In fact, everything for a complete life can be found at Dandenong. In Dandenong, they work, they play, and live a full life as the products of their enterprise flow to Melbourne. A flow of consumer goods that is forever increasing bringing in its wake wealth and security, not only for the people of Dandenong, but indirectly for every Australian citizen.